Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. I know it's been a while since I last posted and I promise to have some more videos up here pretty soon. If you do follow my Instagram page, you guys will see that I made a huge move recently. I moved all the way from Oregon to Houston in Texas and it's been crazy. Um, a huge journey for sure. I've never lived out of the Pacific Northwest and here I am living thousands of miles away. I'm loving every minute of it though. And now that I'm kind of getting settled into my new home, I plan to have a lot more content up. Uh, in the near future. But today is a very special video. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for this look, but I'm also gonna be going over a very special product. And this product has been something that I have been waiting to share with you guys for a very long time, like we're talking years. So the product that I'm going to be going over is this lipstick right here, the one that I have on. It is the Il Maquillage Dirty Talk Lipstick in the shade Sierra. This lipstick right here was named after me. I am so incredibly thankful to have the opportunity to collaborate with a brand like Il Maquillage to create a stunning lipstick, and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, and of course see my beautiful lipstick application, then definitely stick around and just keep watching. Love. primer I'm going to be using is the Il Maquillage Poreless Base Smoothing Primer. I really love this one. So I just take a little bit like this. I pump it onto my fingers right here. A little bit really does go a long way. This is a clear uh, silicone based primer. I start at my nose and then I kind of just work my way out like this. And then I kind of do my chin down here. Just a little bit everywhere to be honest. After I put the primer on, I like to go in with a color corrector. This is the Il Maquillage I'm Flawless Concealer. It's in the shade 20, which is kind of like their color corrector shade. So I just go in, I put a little bit right here under my eyes. Not too much, a little really does go a long way. I like to do the outside of my nose and my mouth. You can see these like dark spots right here. So I like to try to hide those. I just like to take a wet beauty blender and then start to blend that out. I'm gonna be using this foundation from Il Maquillage. This is the Woke Up Like This foundation. I am going to use the shade 045. I really love this foundation. It feels really good on the skin. It's super lightweight and just comfortable. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and kind of just dab it around. And then again, I'm just gonna go back with my beauty blender and start to blend that out. All right, the concealer I'm gonna be using is called the I'm Flawless Concealer. This is the same stuff that I was using earlier, but in a different shade. So the shade I'm gonna be using is 03. This is a really good concealer. You can see I've used a lot of it. She's due for an upgrade or a restock here pretty soon. I just take a little bit right here. I put it underneath there, a little over here, some up here, down the nose and the chin. And then to blend it out, I'm just gonna go back in with that same beauty blender and buff it out. To finish off the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the collaboration from Curly Bible and Il Maquillage. This is the, her face palette with them called the Moonstruck Medium Palette. The shade I'm gonna be using for contouring is this one right here. I'm also gonna use this for a little bit of blush and then highlighter. This highlighter is really good. It is like bright and blinding. This is such a pretty blush. It's like a very subtle baby pink. It looks gorgeous on the cheeks. So I just take a little bit with her um, blush brush and I put that on my cheeks. Now I love a glow. So I'm going to put this right here on the tops of my cheeks. I like to bring it down here too. 
The eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using is from Il Maquillage as well. This is their eight shadow pan palette called the Color Boss Master Palette. This one has a really pretty brown toned theme to it. First shade that I'm going to start off with right here is this one and I'm going to put that in my crease. <music> I'm now going to go in with this lighter brown shade and I'm going to put that in my crease as well But I'm not going to bring it as far over. I'm going to kind of keep that more in the outer corner So I'm just going to start right here work that into the outer corner and then blend it up to the crease and probably go about halfway I do want to darken this up just a little bit more on the outer corner. So I'm going to go in with the darkest brown right here. I'm just going to take a tiny bit and kind of put that on the outer corner. I'm just going back in with that lighter brown shade, um, a small blending brush, and I'm just going to run that underneath my eyes right here. Using a flat brush, I'm going to go back in with the dark brown, the darkest brown in the palette, and I'm just going to pack that tightly underneath my eyes. So I'm going to put a black eyeliner on my waterline. This is the Eau Maquillage Longwear Eye Pencil and Batman. It's a cute name. It definitely suits the color. So I'm just going to take that and run it right across my waterline. I originally thought that I wanted to stick with a matte look, but now that I have this on, I kind of think I want to add a little bit of shimmer to the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and I'm just going to pop that on right here on my lid. All right, so now that my face is full glam, I'm gonna be going over the grand finale product and my favorite product out of everything used today. That is going to be the Il Maquillage Dirty Top Lipstick in the shade Sierra. So this is my signature right here. Il Maquillage did collaborate with 16 different influencers to name their Dirty Talk collection after, and this one was named after me. I am so honored and just overjoyed to be a part of this process, and I'm so happy that I finally get to share it with you. My color is a beautiful, stunning purple mauve. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I cannot wait to put it on and show you. When you take it out of the packaging, it comes in this really pretty black lipstick case. It opens up like this, and it has a magnetic click to it so it connects really easily um, if you push it up right here this is the shade absolutely stunning it has a really nice matte finish it's so pretty I almost like don't even want to use it because how pretty it looks Okay, here is the finished look wearing the Dirty Top Lipstick in the shade Sierra. How gorgeous is this shade? It is so pretty. The pigmentation is incredible and it's ultra creamy, like really creamy. It glides on so smooth and it looks really good. It's also lightweight, so it doesn't feel heavy on the lips and it feels really natural to wear. What I love about this shade is that it truly makes me feel beautiful. I feel absolutely gorgeous when I have it on and it really just boosts my confidence and makes me feel special. And that's what really makeup is for. You know, it's not for anybody but yourself. And if something makes you feel gorgeous, that is all that matters. I think that it would be great for any sort of event. So whether you're going to the a wedding or a party or even the grocery store, it's gonna work wherever and it's gonna look great on any skin tone. Especially now that we're coming into fall, I think this is gonna look really pretty with the seasons to come. To have a lipstick named after me is a huge honor and I could not be more thankful to be a part of this collaboration. This lipstick is available for purchase right now on Il Maquillage's website, so run, don't walk, go pick yourself up a Sierra lipstick. You won't regret it, I promise. I will be doing a lip swatch video that goes over all of the shades here pretty soon, but obviously my favorite out of the whole bunch is Sierra. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like the way this look turned out and I hope you love the shade Sierra as much as I do. Cause I won't stay awake till morning. I won't stay another night. If you're feeling something for me, say it now. Cause I can't
I can't wait for you for